What's up guys, here's another episode of Your Car Facts and on this video we're gonna show you how to turn off the checking a light three ways to do it without the use of a scanner the first way to do it is this you will well, what I have to do is go inside of your car and you will open the key let me grab the key and you will put the key on on position so after you do put it on on position you come back to the battery and you will disconnect the negative cable from the battery remember the negative cable so you will disconnect it and what you will do is touch it three times touch one touch two touch three and then you put it back you tie it and go back inside of your car Close the key and then you turn on the car and the checking in light has to be off at this point. If not, here's the other way to do it. You will do this, you will go back this way you can do it with the key off. You don't have to put the key on on position. So this on this uh this way you have to do the same thing. You will disconnect the negative cable of the battery. You will disconnect it. And now that it's disconnected, you will go back to inside the car. And you will keep pressing the horn button. Press it for 20 seconds. After you press it for 20 seconds, you release it and go back to the battery and you connect back the terminal. That's the second way to do it. And the final and third way to turn off the checking in light on without the use of a scanner is you will disconnect. I'm sorry. You will disconnect the negative cable, but also you will disconnect the positive cable. So you disconnect both. Well, I'm not gonna disconnect it because it's gonna be harder for me to do it. But you have disconnect. You have to disconnect both, and you will put a cable from this terminal to this terminal for 15 minutes disconnected this one you disconnect it from the battery and then you put a cable from the negative ter negative cable to the positive cable and you will leave it there for 15 minutes and then you disconnect the cable and you put back the the, the battery cables back to the terminals both and the checking in light has to be off at this point you just can start the car and it will be off but remember that if you have a problem with your car or with some sensor in your car, the check engine light will come on on again. It will turn on again. So it's very important to do this only when you know that there is no problems with your car and you or doing it when after you fix it, after you fix the problem that it has that it makes the check engine light to turn on, you can do this method. Also remember that you're doing this at your own risk and make sure you're not, you don't do it on newest cars, especially those that have electronic throttle bodies. Because at that, if you, at that, in that case, you will need to relearn the, the electronic throttle bottle, thr throttle body, I'm sorry, and that only can be done by the dealer. So make sure that your car doesn't have an electronic throttle body, okay? Well guys, I hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have a question, don't forget to make a comment and thumbs up. Don't forget to do that. And hope you guys like it and see you in the next video.